So speaking of meaningful fights that didn't happen and a big fight that never happened was obviously Spence and Bud. You know, obviously, you know Al Heyman really well. Eventually. It'll probably happen yeah. eventually. Someone will, will cave or it's not. It, it'll happen in typical boxing fashion where most people don't give a shit. <laughs> Is there a reason why boxing promoters and networks aren't working together? It seems like. No, it's not boxing. To... Networks don't. Who pays the money? You think Eddie Hearn's personal money? Has been paid. Eddie goes out there and acts like, like, like you know, earn with Hearn. It's not his fucking money. It's the Zone's money or Saudi Arabia's money. And frankly, I'm not really going to travel around the Middle East to be making yeah. deals with, 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 you know, to move my fights to the Middle East. I have no desire to hang out mm-hmm. in Saudi Arabia personally. So, so you know, God bless him. But I also don't think doing the biggest fights in England and Saudi Arabia is growing boxing anywhere. I don't. If you think that going to a country where no press is going to travel, where you as a fan are not going to travel, right. where the time, you know, the time difference dictates the fight's going to be out of prime time in this in, on this continent, but even on other continents, it's closer. It, it, it's it's easier to do a a Saudi fight that's primarily a British fight. But you explain to me if it was an American fight. Let's say Spencer Crawford could happen because the Saudis were going to pay. $20 million in, in Saudi Arabia. Would the fight, would the press corps travel there? Would fans travel there? Are people going to watch it in the same numbers when it's not getting the attention it would get in a Las Vegas or whatever? I mean, in fairness to, to the participants and even to the promoter, because as much as I hate the idea of these yeah. big fights going to Saudi, if Eddie wants to go to Saudi and they're offering him a shitload of money. I understand it because he can satisfy the fighters' demands. And frankly, fighters have been grossly overpaid um, in recent years, not against the money that's been spent, but against the performance of the event. Because when we all get judged by how people buy a pay-per-view or how many viewers watch Showtime or ESPN or, or whatever, and based upon all the data out there, the highest paid fighters have still made too much money. And as much money has been spent in boxing by these services, etc., it's not like loads of people are getting wealthy because the sport is performing. It's that people have had needs for content and they've been willing to pay up for content. The zone, you know, through you know, they started a streaming service in sports. Most of the rights outside of boxing around the world were occupied. They were contracted out already. Now you see the zone starting to make more deals as other people's streaming deals are running out. They're trying, they made some kind of a deal with the NFL recently. They're they're trying to get other sports. But when when they first got in, they were able to overpay and grab some boxing stars to associate with their streaming service and and try to use to to, to build a subscribership. Right? The truth of the matter is. If you go online and you research, they've lost $5 billion over the last two years. And so, I mean, is boxing, I don't think boxing is a locomotive or capable of being a locomotive for a sports streaming fight. That's not the zone's fault. It's just reality. Right now, we we are not permeating pop culture like we did in the days of Muhammad Ali or yeah. Hagler Hearns, Leonard and Duran or Mike Tyson. People can sit there and a bunch of little nerds who aren't getting paid to write and opine on social media, on Twitter, or do podcasts. No offense, because I'm, I'm enjoying talking to people. But people can sit there and have their opinions or do whatever. However, we're no longer, we're, we're not right now, we don't have a transcendent superstar in boxing right. in America. We don't. Yeah. We have nobody that's a pop, pop culture icon. There is no Ali. There is no... There is no Tyson. There's not even a Holyfield. There's not even a De La Hoya. You know, Canelo is Mexican. Um, Javante Davis is one of our bigger attractions. I wouldn't say he's the most advertiser friendly or non-controversial figure. He's not doing a million buys or a half million buys. He's doing more buys than most people. He's on TMZ a lot. He's he's more transferable to pop culture than a lot of our other fighters, whether people mm-hmm. like him or hate him, whether I like him or hate him. Um, but he's not a superstar. Wait, if you go down, you, your your best friend probably doesn't know who the heavyweight champion is yet, though. 
Um, and, and no, they don't. They definitely don't. About this and if you time. say, and, and I'll go further. I, I, everyone in my town, or most people in the whole, all of New York, know me. Like uh, who know sports in New York and who know boxing. Mm -hmm. um, most people don't know what the hell's going on. They don't like in the old days. They'd walk up and fucking Nassim Hamed, man. That show with Kevin Kelly, that was crazy. Who's Hamed going to fight next? I can't wait for the next big HBO show. Whatever. No one knows yeah. what the fuck's going on, yeah. and nobody even knows what the zone is. Forget about watching it. I mean, <laughs> as much as Ryan is a social media star, he he has created his own persona. Credit yeah. to the kid. I happen to like the kid, uh, and I and yeah. I actually think he's very live in the Davis fight. I think either guy could win that fight. And people that think that fight's a million by fight are just dumb. So when I go online and I see these morons, oh man, they gotta be making fifty million. Why? Why? Because you say so. Or it's gonna do a million buys. Why? Because you say so. Ryan hasn't done one buy. He hasn't been on pay per view. I don't think has he. I don't think so. No, okay, he well, hasn't. And Davis, <laughs> Davis has never done a half a million buys. Or I mean, Davis just said I could do two hundred thousand fighting Bozo the Clown. I don't know. I don't know. I think, you know I'm, I'm not so sure about that. And to tell you the truth, I mean, he keeps fighting smaller guys for the most part. I mean, but but look, Davis is proven to be some kind of an attraction. Ryan crosses over more into pop culture than a lot of other fighters. I love that fight as a fight, and I think it's a big fight for boxing. But we no longer have big fights with the same gravitas or or the same potential as we used to there is no million dollar no morons garcia and, and spence and crawford would not do a million buys it will not i don't think there's a million sports fans in america who know what the fight means or who both guys are that's just the fact will, right, it do, will it do more than all of these one or 100 to 200 uh, thousand buy fights have done probably but but it's not a transcendent kind of fight. Uh, Let me get this one question in. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I, I wanted to ask specifically about no, you. Know I'm at my best when I'm raving. Oh no, we're you're about to rave some more because I wanted to ask specifically about Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis because there was optimism that the fight would get made, and now we're seeing a report about another roadblock and the uh, boys apparently. Be, dude, fuck the reports. What the fuck? When you when you're reading shit about all the negotiations and how they're going, and Oscar like a fucking horse's ass, getting on social media constantly, and one day he's announcing something and it's happening, and then it's not happening, and what? I mean, no. When a fight is made, it's when the fight's scheduled, and you can you know you can buy it, and you could buy tickets. It's when a fight's made, and not enough people in the real world care about this shit that there should be news coverage of every development and every stupid fight negotiation. And will Garcia fight Davis? I believe they will. Why? Because it's because I do think that both sides can make a business deal eventually, and it's the biggest fight they can do for either one. And no one wants to continue to pay the fighters millions of dollars to fight fights that are marginally profitable. They want to right. see if they can make a big, big fight and everyone make a lot of money. If they want to make a lot of money, eventually they'll make a deal. Till then, shut the fuck up. I don't need to follow it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to discuss it. When you have your fight made, uh, like let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll get a ticket. But, but...